back day today, one of the best days, and I brought my straps with me, so you already know it's going to be a very nice back day. Now, I've recently realized that a lot more people are commenting on my videos, and obviously that makes me happy because this might sound quite sad, but outside of school, I'm at a traffic light right now, outside of school, I'm not going to say I'm extremely lonely, but it does get quite lonely outside the school, right? So, one of the reasons I did pick up this phone and I started recording, first of all, I do make these videos for my younger self because I do wish there was someone roughly my age making videos and giving me advice because you've got all of these professional bodybuilders and IFBB pros online. However, I feel like that intimidated me a couple of years ago and that because I couldn't really relate to them because they had so much experience in the industry so I'll make these videos for my younger self and I also make them so I can have someone to talk to that's the the sad part I was getting onto this one comment being about me doing reverse preacher curls and they gave an, ex like, an extremely detailed comment on how to improve my form and where I was going wrong and how to improve it I took it into consideration and I actually tried what they told me to do and it really did work. Another comment mentioned how I was using the word however too much and if no one really mentioned that to me I wouldn't have really because obviously I do go look at my videos and I do try to improve my stuff however some things you're just so used to doing that you don't even pick up on them so having people give you feedback and feedback is one of the most important things for growth that's why you, you hire coaches, you hire mentors, that's why you put a, hire a PT because you always want to be getting feedback because sometimes it is hard to figure out or catch yourself doing not the wrong thing but something that could be done better. So having feedback is one of the most important things for growth. So I do really appreciate everyone who uh, watches my videos and comments. So if you do have anything that you want to tell me I will obviously get back to you and anything that will help me anything any questions you've got make sure to comment them because i do always respond and i am aware that eventually in some given time where this channel does grow it will get difficult for me to respond to each and every single person because i've only got so many hours in a day and that is quite optimistic of me but let's go get this back pump Starting off with bodyweight pull-ups, recently I do feel as if bodyweight pull-ups have become easier and if you are for example on a bulk, how I am, what I'm doing is I'm bulking, I'm bulking, I'm bulking so my body weight is increasing then I go on a mini cut just not to take the bulk too far but when you're on the bulk and you try to do pull-ups you'll find out that you're not really progressing in the number of pull-ups that you can do. This is because it's the equivalent of doing weighted pull-ups. You are actually making progress because the fact that you're able to keep up with the same amount of reps while your body weight has increased means that your back is actually getting stronger. You can see that I've got the figure eight straps on my wrist. Now one thing I've got to say about these, they do take quite a while to get on if you're not used to using them. And even if you do get used to them, they still do take quite a while to put on. However, these figure eight straps compared to regular straps where you keep on twisting your wrists to make them tighter, I found they're a lot better for using heavier weight because they give extra wrist support while also supporting your hands, whereas the regular straps only support your hands. I've said this time and time again, you might be watching me and thinking, oh, he's using straps, so it's perfectly fine if I use straps because he's still a beginner and I'm a beginner, so I'll just copy what he's doing. But that's not the case because... I've been training for around seven months and I'm by no means claiming I'm pushing heavy weight and only very recently have I begun to use straps because that's my point. You should at least give your grip and your forearms a chance to develop before jumping straight into using straps for using weight that's not extremely heavy to a point where your grip strength is a limiting factor. If you have been watching my back videos, you'd realize that I've changed up the angle for the seated row machine. And you can see how I put on the figure eight straps and the first time you saw it, I had to undo it because they weren't tight enough, meaning I was essentially just holding onto the handle with no support. So what I did to fix this was add an extra turn in the strap to make it tighter. The way I've got the best engagement in my lats is by performing unilateral training, which I've mentioned before is just using one arm to train. You can see how I can really lean into the roll 
and squeeze all the way at the bottom of the movement and then come all the way down, getting a massive stretch in my lats. And obviously when you get the massive stretch in a muscle, that's where the most hypertrophy takes place because you're controlling the eccentric, increasing time on the tension. You'd realize that the arm I'm rowing with, the opposite foot is up on the platform and the same foot is placed on the floor. The reason I do this is because this allows me to rotate and twist into the final part of the row where I squeeze and I pull my elbow all the way back. If you do have a seated row machine like this in your gym, I'd highly recommend doing or trying to perform the seated row the way I am and you'll find the squeeze in your lat is insane. To finish off the workout, I'll perform dumbbell shrugs. The reason I prefer dumbbell shrugs over barbell shrugs is because when the dumbbells are by your side, I feel as if it's a lot more of a natural position for you to shrug upwards and slightly backwards, which is how you maximize engagement in your traps. The way you want to be performing shrugs is by slightly leaning forward, but not leaning too far forward. The mistake I used to make was not leaning forward at all. So then once I began to start leaning forward, I would think to myself, why don't I feel any engagement in my traps? But instead of shrugging straight upwards, I tried shrugging upwards and backwards, as I previously mentioned. And then the engagement I get doing that, instead of not leaning forward at all, was noticeably better. I hope this video helped. Make sure you like and subscribe and chat to you later.